Drive here at Great Lakes Reliance. I'm going to do a video on a how-to video, make a 3 8 weld on MIG welding. So, uh, we're going to be doing a 3 8 weld on this, uh, on this base here for Boeing, 22,000 pounds. And, uh, I'll show you some ones I already did so you see what it looks like when it's done. That's what it looks like when it's done. Here's the three eighths. Multiple pass beads. You do one root bead and one on bottom and one on top. So, uh, We'll be using the uh, Miller Delta Weld 500. And we're going to be running uh, wow. 23.5 volts. 23.5 and uh, 615 on the wire speed. So use an 035 wire. This, this video is mainly going to be for new welders and uh, one just getting ready to get into the art of welding. So, uh, and whenever you're wanting uh, mild steel and uh, 95 five gas, argon oxygen, and uh, 23.5 on your volts and around 615 on the wire speed. That works out really good for 035 wire. So uh, this is what we got here. You're running a root pass in here, one on bottom and one on top. And uh, we'll set the can or the phone up here and uh, do a little demonstration here. So uh, let me set set this up here. Always remember the number one rule, rule for being in a for welding: never touch anything without gloves on. Remember that. So uh, here we go. There's a root pass. Be a little quarter inch weld, quarter inch on bottom, and then a quarter inch on top. Now I already put a bead around the whole plate. And when you're doing a multi-pass bead around uh, around a plate or something, always want to have one pass everywhere first. That way uh, it locks it in. So uh, we got the one bead here. Quarter inch bead. Now the next thing you want to do is you see all this, all this brown here. They call it glass. That's actually silicon. That's what they put in the, uh, the rod when they make the rod and 
and the base material when they pour it. So you want to get that off of there. So how you do that, you use a needle. We needled it up there, got all the silicon off of there. You want to make sure all that's off of there, that brown glass, because uh, if you don't, the weld will get all swirly and stuff, and uh, you could have a risk of pinholes. So, all right, now we're going to do the next bead. We're going to go right on the bottom here and cut this in half. Half on half on the base material and come halfway up this bead and you want to try to leave like a little tiny hump right on the top so when we do the top bead it'll just fill in like a regular fillet so uh we'll do the bottom bead now Bottom bead now. Now you can see the bottom bead there. It's half on the base material and halfway up the other bead, and with a little bit of a hump. There's like a little bit of a hump right here, and also makes like all kind of makes a little uh, seam in there. So the next bead's gonna go. We're gonna do a regular fillet bead now, right in this corner. And I'll go on it halfway up this and halfway up the top, and that'll give us our three eighths. Now you don't want to go too far on there. That'll give it. You could have a risk of overlap. So again, we're gonna go right in this corner. It's gonna go halfway here and halfway up, and that'll give us our three eighths B. So uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, but once again. Now we got to run the needler in right in that corner and get all that brown glass, all that silicon out of there. Now you don't want to go down here because this is at, from this bottom part to actually you finish well, but up here isn't. So we're going to get up here with the needler and needle all that uh, silicon out of there. take the blow gun and blow it out of there. 
but all that silicone's out of that corner. Gotta watch out for that. Alright, now we're gonna do the top piece. Said 3 speed, finish well. So I uh, will see how this looks. Here it is. I ain't got my well gauges out, but you do a triple pass, you got 3 eighths. And now I'll come to the opposite side and I'll do it on there. But uh, that's how you do a 3 8 speed. Like I said, this is like for newer welders, people learning, getting into the art of welding. But uh, welding's a great career. So uh, you can make a lot of money. And a uh, good thing about welding is you can get a welding machine at your house in your garage and uh, make some money at home also. So... Uh, Rob from Great Lakes Reliance, uh, just doing a little how-to video on a 3 8 MIG weld. But uh, have fun welding and you can make a lot of money and uh, it's a good trade to get into. But uh, it's not a trade for snowflakes. So you're going to get burned, you're going to get cut, you're going to have a lot of crawling, stretching, getting in small spots where you're uh, not supposed to be and uh, yeah. Not a job for snowflakes. If you're not into that and getting dirty, getting wires stuck in you, might have to go back to your lattes at Starbucks. <laughs> but, uh, all right, have fun welding. And uh, any questions, leave them in the comments and hit the uh, like and subscribe. Till next time, talk to you later and have fun welding. <laughs>